the first order of business is try and uh, provide for the material needs that are most at forefront right now, which is like just a rear guard action of trying to mitigate uh, the implications of the overturning of Roe v. Wade. Uh, and, and you talk about medical freedom. I wonder if that makes it harder down the road to get a government sponsored um, Medicare for all type of program where you have sort of played into this I think concept. It, yeah, I think it actively does. And in fact, if you look at some of the kind of, I don't know what you want to call them, the YouTube left uh, types that started getting into this medical freedom stuff so that they could kind of ride the anti-vax algorithmic boost that was that was going on for six, six months or so. You don't say. Th those people uh, started becoming actually a lot more skeptical of Medicare for all, even even ones who had kind of made their entire political identity around the idea of fighting for Medicare for all. So I think that you're right, that the messaging around medical freedom uh, undermines faith in, in public health and then undermines faith in kind of universal health care. I think that's right. Now, the, the, uh, the job of a, of a Kansas, of a Kansan who's trying to beat this amendment is to beat the amendment. So I'm not right. telling them what to do or what not to. But I think I think you're right that in general, the lack of trust in public health that has uh, that was exacerbated during the pandemic has undermined potential future support for expanding public health insurance. Yeah, that's a tough dilemma that I think maybe, you know, maybe worthy of it of, of a different show i mean and, and that 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 dilemma comes up many times right like you know sometimes the fur you know the your, your top priority undercuts a long longer term mm -hmm. priority or uh, let's say the most urgent priority maybe undercuts a longer term priority um i want i you know i i feel like we're going to be talking about this stuff and the expansion of the theocracy because mm -hmm. I really do think the gloves are off for I, there is. I think it's just they're targeting prep access in well, Texas, prep access uh, uh, in, in Texas. You know, in terms of HIV, we saw it with Josh Hawley bringing in like, oh, I know we're talking about abortion, but let's get to the trans stuff right now, too. Like it, it is all right. part of a whole. And the uh, fact that the fact that like, the you know, there are all these fentanyl um, test strips that people can use to find out whether or not the pill that they're about to take has been laced with fentanyl so that they don't die. You know, Republican states are trying to, and, are, and some are successfully banning these, banning people from obtaining a test strip that would save their life. For what, like why? Like that's the, that's theocracy right there. It's, it's because they're sinning yeah. and God right. will decide whether they right. live or not. Period. End of story. And right. if you're going to sin, it's same with the prep in a way, except it's even taken out of sex. Yep. Yep. Yeah. It is all about a, a, a moral decision that is being made a bond high and imposed. And now they have the mechanism to do it. And it's almost like once they got Roe v. Wade out of the way, they basically said, we did the biggie first. Right. Like, you know, we, we ate the main court. We, you know, we, we ate the steak. So like the rest is just like the peas and the mashed potatoes or the set, you know, like we're just, everything's going in now. Right. Um, mop up time. It's mop up time. And uh, I think it's going to get super extreme and it's, it, it really does show how much lying was going on in the run up, you know, in the past 50 years about what the agenda really was. I mean, there are people, obviously people have been writing about this. This doesn't have anything to do with, innocent baby this has to do with a religious policing of the sexual behavior of uh of women and right from their perspective right, that, like, that's that's what that's even what the existence right. of of trans people i mean all of it right that's what pregnancy uh hiv and a fentanyl overdose have in common to them they're like those are consequences of your sinning and therefore mm -hmm. you need to bear the brunt of those, you, you need to suffer those, those consequences.